Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back in horse riding teals now. There is a new fantasy horse here that I haven't personally caught before. So I'm going to try and catch this one. Um, this is one of the Pegasus Unicorns. It's one of my favourite coat ones. I really like this one. So, catch this. And we'll... I don't know if I have... I don't think I have another fantasy stable, so we might have to put this one in the panic, but... I'll check first. Okay, we've caught that. Okay, so this is a white Pegasus. Okay, so, yeah, the stats aren't bad. That's quite high control, actually. Right, we'll see if I have a stable. No, okay. In that case, we'll just uh, send this one to the pen. Right, now I'm going to sell this epic stable because I want to put the fantasy stable over here. So we'll buy this fantasy stable and then we can move that in there. Okay, we'll go ahead and move this new white Pegasus into the stable. Right, let's put you in there. Okay. Now we need to go and give this new one a name, I think. So we'll quickly pick a name for this one. Okay, so I'm going to call this one Orchid. And um, hopefully we can work on getting this horse up in stats. Now, this one's quirky, spirited, and sassy. So we'll have to work on increasing the stamina on this horse and then we use it for competitions. Okay, so I'm gonna take Blue Rose in here to a multiplayer race because Blue Rose was the horse that most matched the type of stats for this race. That hopefully would give her a little bit of an advantage. All right, here goes. Two, one, go. Right, okay, come on, go Blue Rose. This is, looks like um, quite a few people that probably know what they're doing. Um, I know if some of you guys mentioned that if I put it on the lower graphic settings it would be a little bit easier to race and that has helped so thank you a lot for that tip, that really was really useful. So I've been using the low settings, especially when I race, and it's definitely helped a lot. Right, we're doing a little bit better. Some people haven't even started, I don't know why. Oh, oh, I missed that jump, whoops. My jumping's probably my weakest point, I would say. Right. We're in third, but we're kind of a little bit far behind the leaders, so it would be nice to try and catch up. Don't know if we will. I mean, um, Blue Rose isn't my fastest horse, but she was the one that most uh, matched with her traits for this particular race, so I decided to bring her, but um, I have been using Clematis in a lot of these races as well, um, because Clematis is quite well suited. Okay, I think the people in first and second have finished. So if I can just even keep this, at least I can get a black pearl out of this. There we go. Okay, race complete. And we should get a black pearl. Yes, we did. Awesome. That's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. So, Lavender here is now level 92 with 739 stamina overall. And uh, I've been working on increasing Clamatus, and she's now level 73 with 732. So I'm going to give her some apples. And that should take her over now, so she's 742. She should actually higher overall stamina now than Lavender, and she's going to become my main competition horse for that reason, because she's got the most stamina. And then she should do the best in competitions for me, so that is the plan with her now, so... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take Clamatus into one of the competitions. I'm going to put horseshoes on her, and then I'm going to give her a wash so that she's got the happy mood. Which will give us enough for going into the competition. Now that she is higher overall in stamina, she's the better one for taking the competitions now over Lavender. Right, so we'll go ahead, we're going to take her into this dress out competition. I have one left to do um, for this part of the quest. Now, she technically doesn't have enough stamina to finish this to two to three stars, but I'm hoping that if we just do a little bit of each movement um, of each of these that it will be enough just to get the one star because um, at the minute she doesn't have enough stamina as I said to kind of do all of these there's a lot of movements here and what I've also been trying to do is level up other horses because I was thinking about this because there's so many high level competitions that I have to do now it'd be better to have more than one high level horse so um, I'm trying to kind of level up maybe a few of them 
not necessarily just as high as her, but le at least a little bit, so that they can do some of the earlier competitions, get apples, and then I can use those apples to continue the level. So, that's my plan anyway at the moment. Now, we have a lot of movements to here to do, and as I said, I'm not going to do them all completely. I'll kind of do them a little bit. And then if I think I'm going to be low on stamina, um, I'll kind of stop doing them, basically. I'll kind of let them go to a certain point and then not do any more. And that's just purely because if I um, try to do the whole thing, I'll run out of stamina and then it'll be like, you need to use gems to continue. And we don't want to do that. So that's why I'm going to try and just get this. So still trot, walk, trot, counter, passage, and the walk to do. And we are over halfway with our stamina, so this is going to be a little bit tricky, I think. So, I'm not going to do any more of that one. Right, let's see. I'm going to do as much as I can of each. And if I think I'm going to get too low on this, I'll stop. Right, I'm not going to do any more of the trot, because I think we're getting to the stage now where these other ones... We'll just do a little bit of each movement, and then just stop with uh, Clematis and not do any more of the competition. So I obviously have been working on all social quests and I've been doing multiplayer races a lot, <laughs> like every single day. Um, and I've been trying to do like every social quest that I can. I try to do at least two a day if I can get three and I try. And uh, that way I've been getting black pearls because um, they seem to have done a bit of tweaking now and it's social quests seem to actually always give black pearls. Um, if you reach, obviously, um, the amount that you're supposed to, to contribute. There's been a couple of times where I have logged in too late um, to basically avail of that, unfortunately. But um, for the times that I have managed to contribute at least 75, then I have got the black pearls. Alright, the last thing we've walked, we've like a teeny, teeny bit after this passage in terms of stamina. But uh, yeah, so I want to use the... Um, Black Pearls, obviously, to try and get a pet. And um, I want to try for a mythical pet, so that's my plan. So, we'll have to try for one of those once I have enough. Right, let's see. Did we get a star? We only needed one. We did. Okay, perfect. That means we'll be able to progress with that quest. Okay. You really think you're going to make it into the finals? Your little fairy tale life will end up being the fantasy ending you've dreamt about? Ha! Are you sure you should be riding horses? I mean, I thought pigs were meant to stay in their styes. Be careful what you say to me. I know who you are. My father knows all about you. You wouldn't want history to repeat itself now, would you? Goodbye, hay bale. Oh, snap. <laughs> Jen leaves. What does she mean? Nothing. She's just trying to wind you up. No, there's more to, the, to it than that. She can't hate me this much just because I'm a better writer than her or because of where I come from. Unless... Well? Unless that's exactly the reason why she hates you so much. Because of where you come from. I need time to think. There's a fantasy event I can enter. Jumping helps me clear my head. Okay, we've leveled up to level 29. Awesome. So... We've now got another quest to do, and I believe it's show jumping from what she said. Yes, it looks like it is show jumping, and we'll have to get started with that. Okay, so I'm just getting some amber here because um, I'm trying to make um, a couple of fantasy orbs. It's taking a lot of mining to get these fantasy orbs, um, but I wanted to have um, six in total uh, because normally the fantasy horses take about three. And I think there's two fantasy horses that I haven't yet to tame that are tameable. So I wanted to have six um, fantasy orbs ready in case one of those maybe might show up in future. Well, at least I can hope. Okay, let's have a look and see what other horses are around here at the minute. Okay, new <gasps> Pink fantasy. Right, let's go catch this. Okay, three orbs. Of course it would need three orbs. <laughs> it could just need one. Um, I really, really like this pink fantasy horse. I'm not a fan of pink, personally, but... I really like this one because it's like that kind of light pink of like a cherry blossom flower on a cherry blossom tree, sakura tree. And I really like that color. So we'll capture that. 
Now, I don't know if I have a stable ready. Um, right, you're calm, bold, and sassy for your traits as well. Right, we'll just uh, send this one to the pen for now. Right, we can move you now into your new stable. Okay, let's move her in there. Right, I need to think of a name for this one. So obviously going with the flower theme, as usual. Okay, this is Blossom, so let me give Blossom some tack here so we can take Blossom out and see her. Um, so, let's see, I just want a little bit of random tack. I'm not really, really worried what tack I bring. What do I have? Rope? I'll use the rope. Not really have anything else. <laughs> Alright. I kind of really wish this was a Pegasus as well. But I guess, you know, it's just one of those things. But I think this is a really cute... Okay, we'll just run into that casually, right? Um, Alright, we'll move over here. With this one. But yeah, I think this is definitely one of my favourite uh, fantasy horses. Just wish you could fly. That's <laughs> the only downside to this one, I think. But I, I really like the colour, even though I just normally don't like pink. But this is just really cute. I like this horse quite a lot. It is a very adorable unicorn, that's for sure. Right. I've only got two more fences with Clem Clematis to jump here. I kind I kind of really like the fantasy jumping, just because the fences are really different. But there's a lot of fences to jump. I had to knock a few down to be able to get through with Clematis, so I'm only going to get a star if I'm lucky enough. Yeah, because I hit fences on purpose to save stamina. Okay, well that should let us progress anyway, at the very least. Nathan, you think I'm special? Well, uh, I've always wanted to tell you. What I mean to say is... Why are you acting so strange? I mean, do you think I'm related to a Celestial Guardian family? I... I... yes, I think you are, and... And? My nan does too. She knows all about the old stories, about the Guardians, the Sky Riders, the tournaments above the clouds. I told her about you. She thinks you're here for a reason. Huh. What reason? I'm sorry. So sorry, Violet Rain, but that's as much as she says to me. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we've got another quest. Now is this dressage? It is. Okay, so we've got another dressage one to work through. We'll have to do that with Clematis then. And work through those. Oh my god, there's an epic Arabian. Right, okay. <laughs> Let's go see if I can catch this. Um, I don't know if I have enough orbs for this. Okay, one orb. But I only have one orb, so that's really good actually. If it had been three, I wouldn't be able to try and catch this. This is the first epic Arabian I've seen. Saw the Frisian much earlier on than this. Right, don't spook on us. I believe the Bay Arabian is the only one you can tame right now. Okay, so this is the Bay Arabian, it's an epic. And uh, I think I'll just send that. Yeah, I don't have an epic stable. I'll just have to send this Arabian to the pen and then put it into the pen or a stable later. Okay, I believe I have enough black uh, pearls now to try and uh, get one of the pets. So. Um, I want to go for the mythical pack, or the mystical pack, so that's 85, um, which can give us a rare, an epic, or a fantasy pet. Um, it's quite a low chance of getting a fantasy pet, so I don't know if we'll do that. So let's see what we get. <gasps> we got the fantasy galaxy wolf! Awesome! Okay, I'm really pleased with that. I was really worried I was going to get like a different one <laughs> that I didn't like, so yeah, that's awesome. Alright, let's have a look. Okay, so pet selection. What would you like to do with your pet details? Well, I guess we'll name it first. Okay, so I've decided to name the wolf Galaxy because I thought it was appropriate from uh, the coat that uh, Galaxy has. Okay, so swim negates ability to cross river or shoal, and that's unlocked. And pet traits, and then what's the next one? We have night vision negates ability to see in low light conditions, and that's unlocked at level 17. Then we have stealth, caution, and serpentitous action to lower the detection chance, and that's level 34. Then we have fast moving, fast and agile, unable to escape from most dangers, and that's for level 51. Then we've got cold resistant, pets will tolerate for extreme low temperature conditions, and that's level 68. And then the final trait we have is predator, is ability to hunt other animals, and that is unlocked at 85. 
Then we have pat skills. Eat. Okay, so near mission board. Sleep. Training location is the dressage arena. Then we have sit. Training location is near the hill outside the town. Crawl. Also outside the bridge of the town. Dig. The training location is near your house. And then we have uh, lie. The training location is near the cliff. And then uh, roar howl. And that's near the horseshoe arena. Okay. Let's uh, equip Galaxy into one of our companion slots here. And um, I guess we could go and try some of the actions that you can do with your pet. Because I haven't done any of them before. So I'd be really curious to see them. Alright, um, this is a loot race. So, we'll bring Galaxy in there. Okay, 110 gold. So collect as much XP and apples as you can and don't let the time run out. Okay. <laughs> No idea how to do this. Oh, it's from above. Okay. Um. Okay, the timer's going down. I want to collect some of the the seconds. Okay, that seems to give us a bit more time. All right, let's collect some of the XP. More of the time. I don't really know where I'm supposed to go. I know there's a like a finish um, down there, but I don't know how far away or how close it is. So I'm just gonna just guess. And here, there's two XP. Let's collect that. Uh, there's another second. Five seconds. Ah! Uh, I ran into something. Um, there's another five XP. My time's going down. I really should probably try and get to the finish, but I don't know how far away it is. I've, uh, okay, let's grab a bunch of seconds. I feel like I've not grabbed enough to be of use. Okay, no. Okay, so you must use your time efficiently. If you are low on time, head straight to the exit. Pick up the extra time you can. Try to avoid the red uh, distractions and the pet will run to wherever your finger is. Okay. Right. Well, I think we did terribly at that, so we're going to have to try that again. Um, okay, so guide the pet. Right, we're going to try this again, and this time we're going to try and head um, more towards the finish than the last time. And uh, see how that does. Right. Okay, come on. Follow where the flag is. Don't get stuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I'm missing everything as I run. It's like, I'm just running into stuff. Okay, I don't think I can go down that. Do I have to just... Yeah, I think I need to run around here. Right, okay. It's really weird. Like, I know this is, like, the, the map, but from above it's really hard to navigate for some reason, even though I know I'm in the pet area right now. There's the finish! We got here. Okay, so we got um, 14 XP and one apple for that. Okay, so all right, let's try one of the other areas in here. Okay, this is the one of the training ones. So let's see what this is. Okay, what do I do? Oh, I have to like draw shapes. Okay. Uh, uh, meh. Okay, great. <laughs> what about this one? <laughs> Very good. Okay. Let's try that. Okay, I think that was better than last time. What? Okay, so you must use your time efficiently. Trace the lines as accurately as possible. Learn the shapes. Uh, draw as fast as you can. I don't get distracted. Okay, well, we'll try that again then, I guess. Right, I think I've worked this out now. So we're gonna do this again. Because it was taking a few times to try that there, just to sort of get used to the shapes. Which get a little bit expensive if you don't have a lot of gold sitting. So I want to try and progress the next level. I don't know whether the time will get shorter or whether the shapes will just get harder or not. But I guess we'll find out. Oh, I hate the shape. Okay, I think, did we do that? We did! We got 50 XP. Awesome. I'll level up our pad a little bit. Okay, so Galaxy has leveled up to level 2. Awesome. Right. Okay, let's try the treasure hunt. Okay, so you can start to find some valuable loot. Okay, your pet is on the trail of a booty of treasure. Okay, so it looks like I need my pet to like, follow the line. Um, I'm guessing it's like a scent line or something like that. Alright, here it goes. Don't know if, no, there doesn't seem to be a time limit with us, but I seem to have to follow the line. Right. Come on, Galaxy, we need to go find this treasure. You need to, like, help me. Come on. Okay, um... We've been trailing this for so quite some time. Come on, Galaxy. Where is this treasure? We've been, like, doing this for, like, two minutes. 
<laughs> and it feels like 10 minutes. <laughs> right, come on. Where is this treasure? Yes! Dig! Dig, galaxy, dig! Find that treasure. Okay, so you find the treasure. Your pets are, um, are awesome. Here are your rewards. All active pets have an XP of 38 XP. Oh, okay. Level locked. Complete the next pet's request to level up further than level 2. Okay, well, we'll have to start on that then. Okay, I can now put um, my Arabian into the stable that I've got here. So, we're going to go ahead and move them in. Okay, so I've decided to name this Arabian Dandelion. So this is Dandelion. And uh, this is the Arabian Epic. And uh, race jump 13, control 12, speed 8. Traits aloof, steady, and quirky. So there's just some different traits compared to some of the other horses that I have, which is good. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some tack on Dandelion because I want to see what it looks like with the tack. Because they do have a very dishy face. Um, obviously Arabians do have dishy faces, but I think this may be a wee bit too exaggerated on this. But let's see. Let's try again just some different tack. I'll use the Blue Fantasy stuff. It actually looks way better with the mask. Oh, we kind of fell on the floor there for a second. Right, come on Dandelion. Bring you over here. Have a look at you. And uh, Galaxy's somewhere behind us. Somewhere, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think that they definitely look quite nice with the with the, the face mask. I would definitely prefer them with it, I think. I really wish I could have captured, you know, if the other ones were kind of available to capture, like the grey one. Or the black ribbon, because I think they're very cute. Okay, similar animations, I think, compared to the other ones as well. Alright, let's try the rear. There we go. Well, I definitely um, like this horse, actually, a lot more than... Um, I thought I would because normally bay isn't isn't my favorite coat color, but I def I definitely think this is quite cute actually. And I definitely like it with the fantasy mask. Okay, so I want to have a look at the pet cosmetics. Let's have a look at some of them. Oh, right. I think you have to buy them to actually see them on the pet. I wanted to be able to look at them first. I hope they add a way to do that because you can't seem to see the hats, the glasses, the trails, or anything like that, or the auras without actually buying them. I feel like I want to be able to preview them to, to figure out if I wanted one or not, so a little bit disappointed with that. But um, we'll go here and see some of these story missions. Okay, so let's try and put Galaxy in to do this. It's going to take a minute to do this mission. This is the first one. We'll get Black Pearl and XP if we manage to do it. So this is the Home Sweet Home main quest. Alright, so we have an 80% mission success rate. That's going to take about a minute. Okay, so we managed to do that. Let's try and claim the reward. Okay, let's see. Mission field! Oh no! <laughs> okay, well, we tried, I guess. We'll have to try and do that again. Start that mission again, I guess, with, with Galaxy. Alright, Galaxy, in you go. Alright, let's try that again. Okay, Galaxy, let's see. Did you do it this time? You did! Mission success, okay. So we got XP, and I think that should also give us a black pearl um, for getting that done. Yes, there's one, our one black pearl. Anyways, scrubs, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you had a lovely day, and bye bye!